A lot of people fail in A levels, like a lot of people fail in A levels. So we end up, we almost become an become a disappointment to our family if we can get through A levels, uh, which I was. Hey guys, my name is Duan Shehan and uh, I'm a designer, I'm an art director, photographer, but mostly I'm a creative uh, and what I'm specialized in is uh, typography, what I do is make letters and create letters that look good and that looks nice and fun basically. So when I was small, uh, maybe at around 15, 16 years old, my mother, my mother base, my mother was showing her, showing her of her skills of using fountain pen, uh, which my grandmother had taught her. So I was very in, into it. I was very interested in. It. I was like, oh, wow, that's the coolest thing ever. So I learned from it. Uh, but that's that's all about it. That's it stopped there. But uh, then I joined the Intra Club in my school during that time i was designing uh, posters and all these little things for our projects and i did that for around two years and from that i got into designing basically i was really interested in it for a levels i did maths uh, because i thought that was cool to say to people to do maths and i failed very fashionably but then after a levels was done after i failed it uh, I thought, why not do designing? Uh, so I applied to different universities and see where it fits. I found one and I studied there. And it got me into the world of designing, but still I still don't know, I still didn't know what to do with it. So this, uh, that's when I discovered typography. This is when the whole fountain pen writing story comes back is when when I saw the typography designs I was really it really amazed me as to how much of thinking psychological thinking and uh, sense that has been put into making letters even though we don't notice it and I kind of like that I kind of like how you can say something without saying too much you know so I have done two jobs so far uh, the first job at my first job I was a content developer and at that place I was responsible in making, taking pictures, making videos, social media content, designing and so, so many things. During that time I was fortunate enough to work with huge brands like uh, Benz, Russell, uh, Land Rover, those huge brands I was very fortunate to work with. And right now I'm working uh, at an advertising agency as an art director. It's really interesting because uh, every time that I work on a project on these big clients, I always can put a little bit of something of me, like typography is my thing. So what I do is I try to put a little bit of, every, of my style to all these brands and then change a little bit of their brand and then, you know, give a nice style to it. Okay, I think the best project currently, which took a lot of time to do and which lot, took a lot of thought to do, was the 30 days Akuru one. Because that is something that was in my head for the longest time ever. Okay, so 30 days Akuru is done by Akuru, this collective called Akuru Collective. And they had this small challenge like thing for 30 days for the month of June where they assign one single letter for day per day and we have we can we have to design our own style of the single letter for each day for 30 days the designs that i did for 30 days of akuru that idea i had for the longest time ever for almost a year the reason i got into this idea was when i did my final project for my for my higher studies in in designing uh, i saw a lot of I saw things that people do with singular letters, like they create, they make fonts, but that's all about that they did, like they didn't do beyond that, whilst there are, when you take other languages in other countries, they do really cool things, not with the fonts, but beyond that also. So I was 
I was very interested in how how other other designers in other countries do that, and I wanted to apply the same thing to here with Singhala. The response that I got from that project was immense. A lot of designers, senior designers, came to me. They really, really loved the project. They they really appreciated how I took Singhala fonts and did really cool shapes with it. And there was this one one design that I took that I did of a face of a dog, which was really cool, which people thought was really cool. Uh, and I was really happy to see the response to it. So in 2000, in 2017, uh, in 2017, I got selected to go to Spikes Asia for the Young Creative Academy, in which they only select 15 students out of uh, out of all the countries in Asia, so I was very fortunate to take part in it. Uh, I was able to win the competition here and then get there. Even after I go there, uh, I was able to meet a lot of uh, senior creatives in the world, especially the global creative officer of JWT. I met him and I talked with him and he said, it, I showed my work to him and we got into talking and then he introduced me to other couple of big type designers that I all I idealized and he was just like you know what just email them and I was like I emailed them and they they I had some really good response from them as well yeah that was the coolest experience so far as a typographer there are so many plans in the head uh, I can give you a hint of what I'm working on right now can you get this part back this was me drawing a small uh, feature, uh, three-part series for my favorite comedian. Uh, this is just a sketch of what I'm doing. This is a three-part series. Uh, this is the first. So right now, what I'm, what is happening is that right now I'm seeing the style and how to bring out different, like there are little features that I want to add here. So I'm just testing out how it works and all that. So this is a three-part series that I'm doing for Dave Chappelle as a tribute for how good he is. And also currently working on, uh, working on an exhibition uh, based on the style that I did, the 30 days of typography. Uh, yeah, it's a huge process because uh, it's an exhibition and you need a lot of, lot of work and I only have very little time in a day. So, yeah, that is, for now, the exhibition is the biggest plan. Uh, that is what I'm working on right now. We'll see. No, not yet, uh, because it's very hard to book the, <laughs> uh, book the uh, galleries. It's so hard. Uh, so yeah, plus I'm too young for that. They always pick the older ones. I'm too young for this. <laughs> B, uh, a lot of people fail in A-levels, like a lot of people fail in A-levels, so we end up, we almost become an, become a disappointment to our family if we couldn't get through A-levels, uh, which I was, but now I'm not, thankfully. <laughs> uh, for the people who want in, who, who, de, who did A-level, who mat, did maths for A-levels or doing bio and they want to get into A-level uh, designing, I advise you to please do because the knowledge that you get from something like maths, biology, it's immense when it comes to designing because after you get into the higher studies of designing, you will never learn maths or biology. And when it comes to coming up with ideas, especially you need to know a lot of things, you need to know a lot of things about other things rather than just about designing or how to work on a software. You need to know more things than what you already know. So bring that it's okay if you fail maths, if you maths fail bio or anything like that. Have that knowledge in your head, bring it into your style, make it make your own style and uh, work hard. Just keep working hard. Currently I'm on Instagram and I'm on Behance. On Instagram I go as uh, Tuan Shehan, Tuan underscore Shehan and on Behance just uh, Tuan Shehan. Uh, that's I put most of my work on Instagram because that's the easiest way to public publicize any work. 
so yeah, if you want to see my work or even get things done from me like design wise, uh, I am on Instagram. You can always contact me. I'm always there.